Hello friends, welcome to my channel once again. Today I shall solve this problem. The problem is uh, using the Parseval's identities for the Fourier transformations. Prove that integration 0 to infinity dt by a square plus t square times b square plus t square is equal to pi by 2ab times a plus b. Before proceeding, we have to know the know about the Parseval's identity for Fourier transformations. So let's uh, have a look on the Parseval's identity uh, for Fourier transformations. So it says if the Fourier transform Fourier transforms of a function small fx and small gx are uh, capital fs and capital gs respectively then there are two identities first one is integral 1 by 2 pi 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity fs g bar x that is the complex conjugate of gs uh, ds is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity integration fx g bar x gx. remember that bar represents uh, the complex conjugate okay and the second one uh, if we assume fx and gx are equal then we can easily write 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity to plus infinity that would be f s square ds is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity mod of fx uh, square dx these are the Parseval's identities uh, for Fourier transform. Now we have to go to solve this uh, problem we have got today. So let's begin. So uh, first we assume we have two functions uh, fx and gx and let fx is equal to e to the power minus ax and uh, gx is equal to e to the power minus bx now we shall consider uh, the Parseval's identity for Fourier cosine transforms uh, so now we use the Parseval's Parseval's identity for the Fourier cosine transforms. And uh, get two by pi integration zero to infinity. Uh, f c cosine c represents cosine and uh, g c s d s is equal to 0 to infinity f x g x d x hope you have understood that Mm, now now uh, we can write like here I can write then Fourier cosine transformation would produce for this function we will uh, produce a divided by a square plus a square 
and for this uh, Fourier transform GC cosine transform GC will produce B divided by B square plus A square so I shall use these values here now uh, so simply writing 2y pi integration 0 to infinity uh, this is a a divided by a square plus a square uh, I just multiply together a square plus a square times b square plus a square and this would be b so a b and ds uh, is equal to 0 to infinity fx was e to the power minus ax and gx was e to the power minus bx so i write them together here e to the power minus a plus b x dx right which can be further written as 2 ab divided by pi integration 0 to infinity ds square plus a square b square plus a square is equal to we can do this integration which will produce e to the power minus a plus b divided by minus a plus b uh, and the limit we can write from 0 to infinity or 2ab divided by pi times integration like this ds uh, a square plus a square times b square plus a square will be uh, 1 by a plus b just using these limits you can easily get this 1 by a plus b uh, just now we can replace s with t as we have in our problem with uh, t so hence we can write hence we can write that integration 0 to infinity uh, dt divided by a square plus t square times b square plus t square will be equal to uh, pi divided by 2ab times a plus b hence uh, i think you have understood this problem where i was supposed to use the Percival's identities uh, for the Fourier transformation to prove this integration integral value so thank you for watching this video if you have liked this video and found this video really useful you can consider subscribing my channel besides please give me a thumbs up that will motivate me thanks a lot for watching